Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Adeluwa. So, in a continuation of the video I did, I um, I had to stop there because I I thought I could upload, but it didn't work out that way. So I'm back again, and um, I'm here to talk about you know um, Derek Jackson's behavior. Um, it's been it's like <laughs> it's like everything in him is spilling out you know and um, of course um, a lot of people are gloating but a lot of people there are people who are gloating there are people who are gloating simply because they were like yeah he was bashing men whereas he was guilty of what he was doing I had an issue with that gloating thing because I, I, I'm like, well, what he did was terrible. Terrible because obviously he knew better, but he wasn't practicing the preaching. And for me, as far as I'm concerned, if you're not practicing what you're preaching, you are the delivery man. You are the delivery man and um, or woman, regardless of who he's doing it. Like if you're not practicing what you're preaching, you don't own the truth is you don't even own what you say really it's the person who works with what is being said that owns it right that can be held accountable for what they say now if that is why it's not enough to say i'm a good man let's get married and then you get married no you have to say the vows like i so and so and so you know take this person so you have to say it it's not enough to say you're a good man no no you can't even be recommended for marriage you have to say it with your mouth that this is what you are going to do in this relationship that is different from preaching about what should be done in a relationship i hope we're getting the difference like that is different from this is what you should do you can preach that but you if you're going to be handed someone if you're going to be holding a marriage sorry a marriage you have to say that this is this is what you're going to do so if being a relationship advisor does not exempt you from saying your vi your vows then what does that tell us what it tells me and what I'm telling you is that it's what you do with what is being said that makes you responsible. At the end of the day, if you know the Bible the Bible says the Bible is a complete book. You all should if you haven't read if you haven't if you haven't added the Bible to your book list kindly do jesus said that there are he mentioned categories of people he said there are some people that the word they hear is it falls on a stony place and then it doesn't take root much less have a chance to grow and then the birds of the air will come and then pick it up or the sun will scorch it and then it burns or the the rain falls and it sweeps it away something anything the elements and predators can come and just take that word away because the heart was stony and it did not take root right so the heart was stony and it didn't take root now um those who own sorry those who own the word are those who run with it and work with it apparently derek like i said earlier has chosen to be the delivery man let me explain how many delivery men are as financially stable as those they are delivering messages to 
when you are going to get when you are get trying to get your package do you verify like if you if you buy food for example you order for food and the delivery man comes to give you the food do you ask the delivery man if he has eaten and if you do ask him if he has eaten and he's and surprise 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 he hasn't eaten do you now tell him to take the delivery back that you paid for you paid for it though but no it doesn't matter as long as the delivery man has not eaten you will not eat so you tell him to take the food back or better still let's just assume he has eaten let's just assume he has eaten right but he did not eat what he's delivering to you maybe you you asked for fruit salad or vegetable salad or something and you asked him what have you eaten and he said he ate pizza so because he ate pizza and not vegetable salad you will not eat the vegetables they say go back take the take it back you are not practicing you, you didn't eat the kind of things you are delivering to me so i don't trust what you are delivering to me yeah exactly that is how words are do you understand what i'm saying you listen to things because you want to pick something from it you don't listen to things because you think that um the person talking about it is practicing it that is not the point the point is you saw the topic you clicked on it you listened some of you have even practiced what he the message he has delivered right i'm talking about derek now some of you have practiced what he has delivered and he has been the result has been positive for you so i don't see how this is your problem do you understand if people have really been practicing what he has the messages he has delivered they've worked on it then obviously it's obvious that he didn't work on it personally but that does not make that does not make the message he delivered invalid it doesn't make it tainted it doesn't make it tainted in any way you've taken your own part what belongs what you think belongs to you you've taken it in the message so if he has chosen to be the delivery man like are you going to say that if if the delivery man does not have what is being delivered to you whatever that is that delivery is invalid and you should take it back you paid for it i'm sure you 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 paid for your time online when you were watching these things and all of a sudden you don't think the message is valid because the messenger so happens not to follow what the message is delivering let's think these things through if you do not even ask <laughs> you don't even ask right it's like you asking a book to be delivered to you and then you now ask the delivery man have you read the book and he says, no, I've not even read the book. Oh, well, because you have not read the book, I don't trust this book. Take it back. I don't want it anymore. I'm not going to read the book because the delivery man has not read the book. Really. There is the message and there is the messenger. Derek Jackson was the messenger. Do you understand what I'm saying? Most of the time, the person who sends the messenger an errand is more than the messenger. And the person who is the message is to be delivered to is more than the messenger. Ah, haven't you guys watched haven't you guys watched epic historical movies? Hmm? The messengers are below in rank to those they are delivering the message to. What will make their, them the same level 
as the person they're delivering the message to is if they work on themselves and improve themselves and grow and put in the work and effort it takes to be at the same level. Where they get to the point where they're not even the delivery person anymore because they have absorbed the message and they have grown from it. Or they have found their own message to make them grow, to make them better, to put them in a better position. So what is this grouse about? The person we should be concerned about right now is the wife. Now she is in a very, <laughs> a very hurtful situation. It's bad enough that her husband cheated on her. And um, I'm not sure how many times he's done it. I'm not sure how many times he's done it. But doing it once is bad enough. And um, I can't imagine what she's going through. It's not, it's not a good place for any woman to be. Like just trying to walk in her shoes is a very, very painful, embarrassing and uncomfortable one. So not only is she privately embarrassed, she's been publicly embarrassed too. Did her husband not think? Did Derek not think? No, he did not think. Because I heard that he was advertising his book. Or he mentioned his book. Maybe not advertise. Maybe advertise is this strong word. He mentioned his book in an apology. What is supposed to be a, a restitution. The beginning of his restitution for what he's done. Because he owes the people his, that believe in him. Now, I believed in his message, which is why this is not surprising me. I'm not, I'm not bothered by it. I'm a bit amused. Anytime I just see the black men don't cheat on him, he's a bit, <laughs> I find it funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I find it funny. I believe in his message. I don't believe in him because I know I'm a Christian. And my Bible says that by their fruits, ye shall know them. I always had that argument with my mom because and I see that a lot of people have that issue like they it for people it's by their by their words ye shall know them right but I have never believed that that's not what my father who who strong Christian that's not what he taught me that's not what my own Bible tells me. It says by their fruits, which means by what they do. That is how you know them. So what they say is not a direct correlation to what they, what their fruits are. Does it make what they say invalid? No. I come from a culture where they tell you that pay, open your ears, open your eyes, open your inner mind, open all, let your, all your senses be open. Because you don't know how and when you will hear what you need to hear. That you will see what you need to see. That you will sense what you need to sense. For your life to change for the best. Let me say that again. In case you did not hear me. I was taught in my culture. And indeed they teach us in church. I don't know the church some people attend. But the church I attend, they teach us that. Like your senses has to be open. Because you don't know who and when and how you're going to receive that information that will change your life for the best. So we, I, we are not under, I have never been under the impression that it is a saint that will deliver the message I need to me. No. A madman on the streets can deliver that message. I mean, I've not had that experience personally, but I've heard people who have been through that before, where this was an issue of life and death for some of them, like life and death, right? And someone delivered a message, a, a madman who was just, you know, walking the streets, 
now some people say it might be an angel but he wasn't an angel this is a known but an angel must have possessed him maybe because he gave her information that only her knows only she's the only one who has that information so that she will know that this is a divine warning and a divine shall we say way of getting her out of the situation she's gotten herself into she's gotten herself into something she got herself into something diabolical and it was about to harm her her son and she was going around seeking for help and that madman looked at her and said it is that thing you did that is affecting your child go and destroy that thing that diabolical dark thing you did go and destroy it because if you don't that madman is going to she's going to lose her son and he told her you know in details what she has done that she did not tell anybody she's the only one who knows it and the moment he delivered he said what he had to say he just went on you know with his mumblings and everything she would have been utterly stupid Mm? at that point she was even desperate so i don't think she would even care who told her what she was desperate her son was at the like at the point of dying and she was trying to find ways to save his life and all of that and she didn't know he was already in the hospital they've been fighting for his life and she's like what am i going to do next you know and that madman came and said you know what where you are going is not where you should go that thing you did go and destroy it that is what is taking your child away from you now wouldn't she have been stupid if she had said he's a madman what does he know he's not in his senses well <laughs> yes well if she had ignored that morning i think she would have found out who was or wasn't in their senses we need to learn to separate the message from the messenger. Like I said, I got the message he delivered. Now, I hadn't understand. I hadn't even watched up to five of his videos. But I think I've watched more videos about the reaction of his issue than I have watched his videos. After this, believe me, I'm going to find time and watch his videos. Not so that I can see how he went wrong, no. But so that I can see how I can be better at what i do like i counsel people i'm a counselor i'm an advisor so i can do i can know how to do that better and so that i can learn personally for myself too right because his like his messages are like from god does that make him a godly man not really not really. Maybe he's a godly man. No? I mean, he might be a man like David. Right? Provided he can restitute and humble himself like David did. We need to learn to separate the message from the messenger. Take the message. Do with it what you ought to do with it. Like some of you don't even know the name of the delivery man. Unless maybe he pins it on his clothes. So why are we now having issues with this? What we should address is not how his messages are, he said this and now he's doing that. That is obvious. This is who he is. Now behind closed doors, now we see his fruits. Your words just does not show us who you are. It's your actions that show us who you are. Right? I've seen that time and time again. I think if you do this whole apology thing, it's 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 not it's it's making a mockery of marriage, which is a, a hallowed institution. It's making a mockery of himself is making a mockery of his wife like how how worse can he get like what did she do to him i'm not asking this as a, a to get an answer it's a rhetoric 
Like, what did she do to him to deserve this kind of humiliation? In public, it's humiliating privately for a woman to have to deal with an unfaithful husband. Because it's personal. No matter how beautiful you are, you would, even if you are not insecure before, you begin to feel like, is it, is it that I don't look that nice anymore? Is it, what is going on? Maybe that's why she wore her hair net. Maybe before then she was always prim and proper, what some people would call prim and proper, always having her hair down. Her makeup done to perfection, wearing, you know, form fitting clothes and everything. Maybe before she was doing all of that. And then when she now found out she was cheating, she was like, What's the point? Please let me just wear what what makes me comfortable. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go out of my way. Like, let me just do what makes me comfortable. You know, maybe she just said, you know what, let me just do what makes me comfortable. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Like, she felt comfortable wearing what she's wearing and she wore it. Now, some people say that her husband probably made her wear those clothes. We don't know. We don't know. But I seriously doubt that she will want to actually put in extra efforts on her looks like seriously is it an event I don't know it's possible that her husband said this is what you should wear it's possible crazier things and worse things have happened unfortunately but Unless he's come out to say he was the one who said he, she should put on a hairnet and dress casual. Unless he actually admits that. I don't think we should all conclude that's what he did. And I can understand why people will conclude that. Like his behavior shows that he's, he's controlling. He looks like someone who is trying to control the situation and he's doing it the wrong way the person he should control is himself he should get himself fixed i think she the woman should give him space to sort out himself why she sorts out herself that's what i think and i think he should redo this apology thing he did it wrong what he should do is come alone I not say Derry Jax did this. No, no, he did it. Use the I word. Apologize. Because unfortunately, a lot of women have idolized him. And that was wrong. So that is the problem. We are made to worship God. It, we are made to worship God. And when you are not worshiping God, you will idolize something. Something that is not worthy of being idolized you idolize something it might be a behavior it might be a habit and it might be somebody while you are pouring libation on their head and now that he's shown that he is not god and in the first place a lot of people are shattered and i'm like you didn't take the message Instead, you ignored the message and you began to idolize the messenger. Ma'am, sirs, how does that make sense? And for those who are bashing him, not because he cheated on his wife, no, not really, but because he contradicted the message he delivered. Mm -hmm. We see what you did there. Mm. You are not concerned that he's cheated on his wife and he probably embarrassed his wife as well the more more than she's already been embarrassed like putting her on display that was awful no they're not talking about that especially the men who felt ah now we have gotten him you are celebrating that a man cheated instead of you all 
to to to. That's what you are celebrating. That yes, see. So what should we now do for men who are saying that? Yeah, serves him right. She be he he was bashing men, saying black men don't cheat. Should we print a T-shirt out? I'm a fashion designer, by the way, and I'm into print on demand. Should we start printing T-shirts of black men cheats? Ah, no, so, <laughs> it's a question. Uh, should we? Hmm. So all of you who you are more concerned about the fact that he did not take his own message to himself, you are more concerned about that than what he has done wrong. And who he has wronged no you 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 glory in the fact that his to you his behavior has made black men don't cheat has made it invalid as far as they're concerned that's what you are celebrating should we print a t-shirt that says black men cheat eh people have have printed weirder stuff should we print that out? Black men cheats. Is that what we should do? What exactly is wrong with his message? With the message he delivered? The packaging was not to your liking. Black men should cheat. Is that what is that what some people are saying? Black men should cheat. Black men should take women for granted. What? No, I want to know. Again, I ask. Because people's motivation for calling out Derek, their motives, some people's motives are honest. But there are some people whose motives are just plain sinister. They don't care that he cheated. They just care about you know, pushing forward their narrative that no matter what happens, a person can make mistakes and nobody is perfect, which is another way of saying that, which is another way of giving themselves permission to do what is wrong. You know when people say they are not perfect? For me, I think they are giving themselves permission to do what is wrong. Does that mean I don't make mistakes? I make mistakes, but I don't hide behind no one is perfect. I don't use that statement. I did something wrong. How do I fix this? How do I restitute? That is what I think about. If I'm not punctual at my job, and I, I, I wasn't, I was supposed to be in a meeting, I came there late, like an hour, like the time the meeting ended was when I got in there. I got the date mixed up, but I didn't focus on that. I didn't blame the time. I blamed myself for not checking all my messages. The person I was supposed to meet with had done their own due diligence. They sent the message to me hours before I slept. And I did not check that message. I didn't check it. That was my fault. Not only did I apologize, I did not find excuses to, 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 I didn't say no one is perfect. We all make mistakes. That's bull. What's your business with the mistake other people are making? Focus on the one you made and fix it. I apologized. I said I was sorry like how many times? But I was saying that is not enough because for me, I put myself in his shoes. Like if I was this person and someone treated me this way, would any excuse suffice? It would not. So I did my, I, I restituted in the small way I knew how to. And I assured the person I was meeting with that it will not happen again and I plan and I and I told the person how I plan to make sure it doesn't happen again I know I never said no one is perfect that that's bull no you are not perfect and you are wallowing in your imperfection and instead of you to say this is how you want to be nobody is going to kill you for that but instead you are now smearing everybody with no one is perfect I'm not talking about Derek now, per se. Although, did he say no one was perfect? Nah, I didn't. I was too busy reading the emotions 
of that video than hearing that's what i do i read the emotions i don't because words sometimes are just words you can say the right words but if the emotions are off Some people have the wrong reasons, the wrong motivation for hanging Derek out to dry. What I think men should do is to hold him accountable. But of course, since they think he's bashed them by saying black men should not cheat. Yes, he said he has zero sympathy for men that cheat. I don't have sympathy for men that cheat either. So what's the big deal? Like, is he saying anything new? Like, I don't have sympathy for men who cheat either. I have my, my deepest sympathy goes to the person they cheated on. I don't think anyone should have sympathy for someone who cheats either. Like, nothing happened to him. He happened to something. Or someone. Yeah are we no when people are replying that should we have sympathy <laughs> i don't understand should we have sympathy for someone who cheated should we i know he's not exempted i don't have sympathy for him either i don't think he should have sympathy for himself and i think that's the issue he's having sympathy for himself Derek should not have sympathy for himself he should be hard on himself Enough to do the right thing and do a total 360. But then again, that is his choice. It's his decision. He might decide not to. But it doesn't make his messages, the messages he's delivered, it doesn't make it invalid. But if you think his messages are invalid because he has cheated, please, next time someone is delivering, we are doing a lot of deliveries these days. We, what with the lockdown, the COVID-19 thing and everything. We're doing a lot of ordering online, ordering things online. If you think his messages, Derek Jackson's messages are invalid, they should not be followed. Um, nobody should take it seriously. It was wrong. If you think that, please, when next someone is delivering something to you, when the next, next man, a delivery man is gi giving you something, first of all, ask for his name. For, then secondly, as if he is, you know, he has made use of the content of the message. As if he's supposed to know the content of the message. As if he has, if he has you know, on his own, partaking in the content of the message. Has he read the book he's delivering to you? Has he, does he have a company? Mm -hmm. Does he, has he eaten what you have eaten? What you're about to eat? So if it happens that he has not made use of something similar to the message he's delivering, then ask him to take the message back. <laughs> How about that? Ask him to take the message back now. He's not practicing what he's preaching. How many people practice what he preach? I respect someone who will tell the truth, even as they are living a lie, than someone who will refuse to tell the truth because they are living a lie. Let me say that again. I respect someone who will tell the truth, despite the fact that they are living a lie. Because they are like, you know what? Even if they want to wreck themselves, they are going to make sure that every other person is not right than someone who knows the truth but will not say it because they are living a lie that is someone who is saying they are they are going down not me right no i said i didn't say we that's someone that is saying they are all going down together at least he delivered the message so that anyone who wants to follow the truth has no excuse not to follow the truth What I think those who have benefited from his messages should do is to make sure that it doesn't become a bloody signboard. 
you know what a signboard is right a signboard directs people to where they should go to but it doesn't go there it's at the junction there directing people to go somewhere and he's not going there that is what a signboard is i think those who have benefited from the messages he has delivered from the directions he has given and he's obviously not in that direction so try and drag him there apparently as a leader he he did not lead he was a messenger a leader is someone who who knows the way go goes the way and then shows the way he knows the way he is going the way and he's showing the way that is a leader and he is not a leader based on what he's done he's 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 been a very he has not led i guess there are two people now they are the leaders and they are the messengers he has chosen the position of a messenger rather than the position of a leader. It's not that his case is hopeless. I just think that those who have benefited, because only those who have benefited have any form of responsibility to him or anything. But I think those who have benefited from it should hold him accountable and make sure he does right. At least try. And say, dude... We're not going to listen to you anymore. We're not going to promote you anymore until you do what is right. By the woman you married. Not by us. You've delivered the message, we've taken it, and we have absorbed it, and we are enjoying it. But you, sir, you need to do right by your wife. Or cut her loose. You must do right by her. You must take care of her. You must walk in her shoes. Feel what she feels so that you will be a better husband, a better man. Do what you can to build her up. Because you, sir, have been responsible for tearing her down. You have to do that job because someone better will come and do that job for you. No, not do it for you. Do the job. Someone much better than you. There's someone better than him. Someone should remind him that. So you shouldn't take for granted that he has a, a woman of God by his side. By his side. He should be the husband that she deserves. Not unless he's telling us that he will appreciate it if his wife does to him exactly as he has done. From start to finish. But if he knows he doesn't appreciate that, then he should change his ways. For the sake of the woman in his life. But you see, if he decides not to, I pray that the Lord God will bring the right man into her life. The God, Lord God will heal her. Like I pray from the bottom of my heart, I pray for her that um, the woman who has been hurt as a result of Derek Jackson's husband behavior, that God heals her, God makes her whole, God makes us himself real to her, and she becomes stronger from this, she becomes better, she becomes... Mm, she becomes a great woman indeed. And according to God's will, if brother man refuses to be the right man, God should replace him with someone better. That is my prayer from one sister to another sister. And I say amen to that. On that note, um, I'm leaving it at that for now and... Um, Stay safe, stay healthy, follow the rules, cover your nose, please, wear face masks, eat healthy, boost your immune system through food, quality food, balanced diet, fruits, vegetables, plenty of water, take enough rest. That's how you boost your immune system. Yeah? God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, 
love and a sound mind. Shalom. Till next time, shalom, shalom. And um, treat people the way you want to be treated. I think in the next video, I'm going to talk about the lessons to learn. I think I have picked them, but I hadn't... Like, it will just be purely lessons from this whole situation. Lessons learned. Like, I mentioned it, if you're, if you're following the video, I did mention them. But in another video, I'm going to be talking about the lessons. Because at the end of the day, that is what we should take. What is mine in all of this? How can I be a better person as a result of what I have watched? As a result of what I have heard? As a result of this situation, how do I become better? I think that's exclusively what I will talk about in another video. Shalom.